Thank you for having me here. And I really want to know about your new project. So my new project is called What Feeds Us, It's More Than Food. And part of that comes from, you know, I'm, I'm a person that I like to feed people actual food, but yes. I, I was really interested in what else, you know, we're fed on many levels. We're fed spiritually, we're fed emotionally, we're fed culturally, we're, we're fed socially. And so just kind of looking at really nourishment, I mean, the, the key, the driving interest in the website is how people find nourishment. Mm -hmm. And with that, I had this idea that I could gather together the people that I interact with. I tend to work with a lot of outside the box kind of people and just kind of get their insights into what works for them and doesn't work for them and be able to share that. You know, because I like to feed people food, but I like to feed people information. I like to, I like to make connections, like this, mm -hmm. this action is like the physical embodiment of what feeds me uh -huh. is feeding other people. Right. You know, it's like I feel like I should have a big bowl in my hand or something, <laughs> whether it has anything yeah, in it or bowl. not. Right. You know, this is it. Oh, that is so exciting. And what is the website? The website's whatfeedsus.com. Okay. okay. And the, the goal is to end up with a collection of interviews with people that are doing things to feed themselves. You know, like they're being creative or they're making social change or they've found a new way to look at something they were doing all along. But just to get that insight, there's plenty of people doing interviews about how to make businesses work or how to train your voice. I mean, there's, there's lots of that, but just really getting into what works for people right. and and then the, the idea of wrapping up every interview with a group of standard questions that the goal was to be able to get profound answers to simple questions. That's what I'd really like to be able to do. Cool. And then make that information available. The other thing that any interview show does is it gives people an opportunity to share what they're doing. And I like making connections. And sometimes those connections are, you, know, you come away from a networking party with some business cards and you realize on the way home, you didn't grab that business card for you. You grabbed that business card for this other friend. Uh -huh. You don't really need this. So I want to be able to do that. I've always really been good at that, if I tell you the truth. <laughs> so doing this on the internet actually allows me to do that on uh, yeah, to bring this uh, to everyone. Right, right, right. There's yeah. no limit to how many people for whom, whom I can serve. So that I find really, really exciting. Yeah, that is fantastic. And I have to tell you, I'm really excited because you have given me the opportunity to turn those questions around and interview you. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so first question mm -hmm. is, what is your favorite quote? My favorite quote changes depending on my situation. Okay. And, like... My favorite quote when it comes to hardship, like the quote that got me through breast cancer was, and was, it all works out in the end. If it hasn't worked out yet, it's not the end. Mm -hmm, that's a good quote. But that's really only applicable in hardship. The other quote that I really use a lot is Marshall Rosenberg's quote, which is, do not aim to be perfect, aim to be progressively less stupid. <laughs> that's good. And I've never heard that. That one works when I'm afraid to begin something. So, I yeah. said that one to myself this morning. <laughs> so, okay. knowing we were going to sit here. Yeah. So. Okay, I there really like that quote. So, next question. What energizes you? Brainstorming energizes me. Bouncing ideas amongst people and helping their ideas kind of blossom. I, that's probably the most energizing thing I have. Yeah. Now, and, and my husband and I are both in business together, and so we do a lot of that. You know, we have multiple businesses in some places, and I'll come up with an idea about his, or he'll bounce an idea off me, and I just love that. Fantastic. Okay, 
So what soothes you then? What soothes me would be art. Not necessarily producing art, but surrounding myself with art or looking at paintings or, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate I have multiple businesses inside theme parks and those theme parks are renaissance festivals. So I'm actually on an art circuit all yeah, year. lots of art. And so I can take a walk through a sculpture garden just about any day of the week and that really suits me. Cool. I should probably set up like a meditation center in the middle of my friend's sculpture garden but I haven't gone that <laughs> far yet. Well that can happen in the it future. Could, it could. It could happen. Um, okay, so what do you do to stay joyous? Joy is a choice in every moment. I honestly believe that. And I think that it might come back to that it all works out in the end. If, if I'm having a, a challenge that I need to like, how can I be joyous in this? Okay, well this is, this is a small thing and it will end. Yeah. But I think that, I really think that I stay joyous by making that I really make a choice in every moment. You always have an option to be to fearful be or joyful, and I'm making the choice to be joyful. I mean, I was I was joyful in the infusion lab. Oh man! You know that's because incredible. you know you, you it's, choose it's, to be. You got was it? Now I can't think of who the quote is, but the truth is, you have only one thing in in life or in the world that you can control, and that is your attitude. And I will think. In a minute, and I'll put underneath this interview on the on the on the website yeah. who the quote was, because okay. I'm pretty sure that it was a Holocaust survivor that said that, and I can't bring up the name right now. But oh yeah, that's that's great, totally true too. Yeah, so that's kind of how I just do it because I do it. Cool. Okay, next question. <laughs> what is your favorite question? My favorite question is. My favorite question is, you know, I've been playing with questions so much, now I'm like <laughs> stuck. I've been writing questions. <laughs> so many questions. I have dozens of questions. My favorite question is, what can I offer you? How can I help you? How can we make this? What, what, what can we do? You know, it's kind of a collaborative question. It's, it's, it, there's a we involved in it, and there's like, what can we do? How can we do this better? Mm -hmm. What can I bring to the table? Well, yes, you? but the, it's, it's not so much an I. It's not like, what can I do to make this better? Because then we get into the, into stuff about, I have to do this myself, and I don't necessarily want to tie up ego in right. how to make this better, but like on a collaborative level, how can we make this better? Which brings us back to the brainstorm situation, which is something that energizes me. So that's probably okay. what that is. Okay. Now the next question. Sorry, let me try to read your handwriting upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Special skill of mine is going on my resume. Um, so when are you your most creative? Early in the morning. But I spend, I like to spend like the first 30 minutes of the day not interacting with anyone. You know, and which fortunately, you know, I've been with my husband for 24 years and we've got this worked <laughs> out. <laughs> but I need 30 minutes to just not quite be here yet. And in that time, I'm scribbling random notes, I'm doing mind mapping of a new idea, or trying to write down whatever that crazy dream was last night so that I can recall it yeah. or figure out if. It's the next thing. Is it my, or is it a domain name you need to buy? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Always with the domain name. I know, I know. No, but it's great, Go. It's I love the ones that you come up with. All yeah. right. So, um, all right. Since this is a conversation about what feeds us, this whole program, what is your answer to that question? What feeds me is making connections of value for other people whether that's con connecting them with a beautiful, healthy meal, connecting them with a decadent dessert, or connecting them with an idea or a person that they needed in their life. It's not so much a, 
I don't want to be the pearls before swine thing, but I, something people need, which is why food is an easy one. Yeah. Food's like, you don't even have to think about food. Everyone needs food. But giving them something that they need that's not as easy to figure out as food is what feeds me, which is really how this whole thing started. Well, that is fantastic. Cool. So I, I think the next question then is, how can people connect with you? How can we find out more about this? Well, I'm Ronnie Rocks on Facebook, and Ronnie is spelled R-H-O-N-N-I. I'm also just at Ronnie on Twitter, and whatfeedsus.com is another place. If you'd like to be interviewed, just send me a note or send me a tweet or something. I'm in four places a year, so we can do physical interviews in several different locations, or we can always do split screen. Yeah. And I have to say, it was really fun being interviewed by you. And also really Thanks. fun to interview you as well. We know how to have fun. Oh, we totally do. <laughs> All right, so, Ronnie Rocks. Ronnie Rocks on Facebook, and be well. That's what feeds us. <laughs>